Thursday afternoon, I go out with the kids while my husband is the one that starts the prep for Shabbat. And we usually like making a lot of food for Shabbos and then eating the leftovers during the week at work. We get some money from work to buy food at work. So because we eat food from home, we usually use that money to buy fish or to buy special treats that you'll see later in the video. some garlic, black pepper, see he's being careful with that, and some paprika. The turkey comes out absolutely delicious and we really enjoyed it. Next he makes his world-class salmon. Thursday night after the kids are asleep I get the schnitzel and chicken ready. That means I let them be with their flavors overnight. Especially the schnitzel this makes such a difference. I find that when I soak it overnight uh, it really absorbs all the flavor. I add some garlic, soy, silan, eggs, uh, date syrup. Silan is delicious. It actually has a lower glycemic index compared to honey and it's considered vegan friendly because it's made just from dates. Chicken also, I make a mix of soy sauce and silan. Friday morning, I start off with the rice. This isn't just any Friday, this is September 1st. The kids are gonna be in their first day at school. We are celebrating the end of August, which was a lot of fun, but also challenging. Complete these dishes I'm gonna do. I put away these dishes. I'm gonna put, do these dishes. And I have to take care of the baby. 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 Prepare a Shabbat. We usually have around four waves of dishes, we call it. And this is the first one for me for the day. So my husband just took the baby to her first day and she starts at 8 and she finishes at 10, so now we have two hours. We want to also have a breakfast together. I'm going to start now making the matbucha. I like to use a hard cup to bash the garlic. That really makes it so much easier to peel it off. I need about 10 garlic cloves to make the matbucha. Homemade matbucha and homemade challah that I made last week and froze for this week. It's not something we need. We could definitely buy from the store, but the homemade challah and the homemade matbucha is something that really makes our Shabbos special. So we really try to make an effort to have uh, these homemade foods that we love so much every week.
make our roasted veggies. That's my husband's job, so he takes over the kitchen for now. I take a little break. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down I add half of what the oil cools for, so that's half a spoon. And this special paprika, Moroccan paprika. So add two spoons of this. One, two. Fika just arrived in Walt. Fika is this amazing Swedish bakery that is in Tel Aviv. We like to order on special occasions. My husband is from Sweden, so we really appreciate this bakery even oh more. What one is this? I think this is the cinnamon, right? Should we open it? Let's split it. Hi, Gala. You're such a big girl. Hi, Okay, which piece do you want? So this is raspberry with uh, inside is the uh, creme pâtissière, no? Wow, I'm gonna give you this thing. I know you like it. So she gave me the other half. <laughs> You're funny. We have eggplant ready, patata ready. Oh, looks delicious. And I'm gonna cut up some mushrooms. We like to have it. We're gonna have lunch soon with hummus and the kids. So I'm going to cut up these mushrooms some soy sauce mushrooms a little bit of our Ceylon our natural date syrup so because this could get burnt a little bit what we want to do is mix it up and don't let it burn so after a few minutes this is what it looks like Okay, so I'm going to take some of the onion, put it in over here. Okay, delicious, and the rest I'm gonna save. Okay, I'm gonna start the rice. Baby's eating grapes. She still didn't take her nap. Okay, they brought the hummus. Oh my gosh, this hummus is just amazing. So I'm going to put a little bit of mushrooms from... Okay, rice. I let it sit now for 10 minutes while it was closed. Let's see. Mmm, good.
o'clock and the baby and I just got up from our nap. We took a little nap. My husband is with the two older kids. They were playing games, reading. Now we're gonna have our banana milkshake. Friday we always have a banana milkshake. I'm gonna make that soon. And of course I have to make the schnitzel. So let's get going. Now, before I start, I put some oil here and oil here. Take a paper towel and just spread it. Ah, really got all this flavor soaked up in it, which is great. So, take it, I dry it off, and I go deep, I cover it up. Press it down hard, a few layers, and I don't want it to be soggy with pieces that are falling off, then I put it down right there. Next piece, drain it. Okay, so the plot is set up, the dishes are done. Hi, Yaeli. And we have matbucha waiting for us. We have our lecha mishneh, and we have that amazing salmon that my husband made. So we're gonna have that room temperature, and now we're gonna go light the candle. This is my favorite part. The house is clean, all the food is made, and now it's just time to relax and light the candles for Shabbat. After I light the candles for more than 24 hours, we don't use any electronics. We just really rest and enjoy our families, enjoy our, our prayers. So I'm going to light the candles. I light five candles because one for me and my husband and three for each kid. You set it up, sweetie? No. Yeah. Yeah, it set up all the candles? Yes. May I have to ask God who did it? I did it. Next time I did it. Uh huh. Thank you so much, Ayala. Yo, Ima! The click on Supreme. Ima! Shabbat shalom. 
Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.